Hello everybody, it's Deborah from Queen Bee Studio and today I'm here doing something a little bit different. One of my viewers, her name is Emily, is pregnant and she's due in December and they're having a baby shower. She knows it's a girl and they chose the colors of pink and brown and she knows she wants a cowgirl theme and was stuck as far as some decor and party favors went. So I've come up with three different designs. Now the designs are all based on a limited budget and also um, I made sure that everything was accessible on the internet as far as templates went or tutorials went. So let me start out by saying um, the very first one that I did is this little whoops, French fry box. If I could hang on to it, we'd be okay. And what I chose to do was to make the French fry box out of brown craft paper. But of course you could use whatever color that you liked. I found a template for a boot on the internet and I've used the same boot through the three pieces. And I'll actually be showing you how I put the boot together a little bit later on. So uh, the French fry box came from a template on the internet, and I'll tell you where that is. Uh, all the links will be below. The lariat I formulated out of a ball of twine. I added flowers to represent a spur. I used uh, stickles, but certainly you could use glitter. Uh, use your own imagination. I added uh, an initial to represent the baby's name. And I added a star up at the top and cowgirl up. Now, cowgirl up, the phrase actually, is the female version of cowboy up. And just in case you don't know, that actually comes from uh, guys who ride the rodeo, and, and girls too, that when you're on a bucking bronc and you're just coming out of the chute, you want to physically and mentally, you're challenging, taking on this challenge, and it's a huge challenge. And if you fall off the horse, you just gather your strength, dust yourself off, and you never ever quit. So I thought it was a great saying, especially for a girl these days um, in our lifetime. So that's why I chose the little cowgirl up phrase. Now on this little french fry box, the other thing I thought of was to put shredding on the inside. And of course it depends on how many favors you would have. But as you can see, it kind of then looks like a little bale of hay. These particular ones I got at Michael's, and it's sort of like a shredded balsa. But any shredding would do. Even shredded paper would do. So there's one thought. The next one I chose was just a lunch bag because they're very inexpensive and I think you can do a lot of fun things with a lunch bag. Now this one is a little bit larger one. I don't know how many goodies you plan on giving away so you can adjust the size accordingly. And then I took the same boot, I added some glitter to the boot, I added paper um, to differentiate between the right and left side of the boot and also for, I think it's called a bootstrap, but I'm not sure. Again, I used a flower. This time I used a button. Certainly for the flower, you could use a paper punch flower. I happen to use a fabric flower. And again, I added a G on this one, but it really looks like an upside down six and it's kind of an ugly G, but it's to just give you an idea. Again, I used the same element of a star, the cowgirl up and I uh, stickled, as you can see, the star up at the top. Now to tie the bag off, I poked two holes that I did with a crop dial but you can certainly do with a paper punch or anything else in about the middle of the bag. 
brought my twine all the way through and closed up the bag so they would have to actually undo the twine. And then I just added a little bit of lace on the flap to add a feminine touch. And then lastly is something a little bit different again. Now I don't know how elaborate or how much time you want to spend on these. This one is actually an easel card. See, it opens that I set on top of a four inch pizza box which opens that you could tuck candy or small little favors in there if you like but I thought that it also gave you the ability to personalize it, write each of your guests a little message on the inside and again I used the boot and this time I used a rosette now even though I used a Sizzix die for the rosettes. The rosettes can also be done by by hand. So I'll, I'll put the link below in case you like the little rosette. I kind of liked it because it really looks like a little spur. And this time I added a larger uh, letter on the center of the box, added my cowgirl up. I actually uh, put the star with a little craft paper behind and then the pink and I used glitter on the star and then I just hung the lasso over the edge of the star. And so I thought that came out pretty cute. Now let me get set up and I'll show you some of the items that I use because I know, Emily, you're interested in um, not just what I'm showing you, but how I did it. So I'll be right back. <music> 